What is going on you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're reacting to Attack on Titan episode 12. Should be really crazy. The ending of last episode was insane. Should be really good. If you like Attack on Titan, smash that like button. Consider subscribing to my anime reaction videos. And obviously hit that notification bell because I'm releasing all the time. Let's go. But yeah, it's like I was saying, the last episode, I mean, obviously there's always something crazy that happens. We've, we've established that at this point, but... I nearly said Barry because I'm I'm watching the Flash. But Eren, when he became a Titan, he turned and he hit Mikasa. Now she's obviously fast enough to dodge out of the way. You know the way she can maneuver is above everybody else. Even though it looked serious to me when I do look at it, it doesn't seem. It's kind of like he's like. There's maybe a, a, a second or a minute or two where he actually has to adjust. So I don't think it's that serious. But we'll see what happens. Wound. Battle for Trust 8. So I wonder if every season is going to be, you know, a different place. Like this season is Trust. We lost around 20% of our troops. They died due to my orders. But I mean... Oh, I'm willing to be called a, a murderer to win. Wow. See, she did dodge. Oh. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, he, he's attacking her. Oh, wow. Right on his nose. Your family. I knew there wasn't any secret weapon. So this is where I will probably see Eren now kill those titans. They'll fight to the end. But what hit him though? Because like for a second I thought it was that, but that's obviously a flare. So how did he get hit back like that? Unless someone else shot him. We can't leave Jaeger defenseless. Oh my gosh, someone who actually has a brain on them. So he's on the same page as Dot Pixis. What's Sean doing there? Let's go, Connie. But that's the thing, like, you have to take the full measure. Too many people have died. 20% of the soldiers. Like, you can't just now pull out. It's like, otherwise they would have died for nothing. But I, I feel like Eren's still gonna prove these guys wrong. This guy has a brain on him. But wasn't it's his name is Ian, right? And didn't he he was saying like he's not fit to lead or something when they told him when Pixis told him. I refuse to die for nothing. Very intense. But that's sort of the, the thing, right? You have to take the full measure. Too many people have died. Captain Ian. Yeah, that I was right. <laughs> you have to protect you. <laughs> Damage parts on Jujin. Well, Armin's got the encouragement, right? Maybe he can get through. But I don't understand why he's like, how he fell like that.
What day is it? Coco. Dr. Jaeger. <laughs> John, oh my gosh. Annie. Oh, they took one out. Oh, Mikasa. Wow, look at that thing's face. It's just so interesting how, like, how they've been able to, you know, keep their wits about them in such a crazy time. But maybe that's, I mean, they are the elite squad, you know. Like, to have that ability to think, like, Aaron's not sort of exactly what we wanted him to be, but we can still use him. Oh wow, it's probably related to the mystery behind them. That's why he sits in that same part. Armin, like, over the last two episodes, Armin has become a, a boss, bro. Oh my gosh. Like, once you get caught, it's kind of done. Like, we haven't really seen anybody who... Okay, other than that, but someone who got caught themselves and, like, kind of got free by, like, slicing the hand or... Oh, it missed. Connie. Oh. Malfunction. Oh my gosh. It's the worst time. And it's kind of like in this series, like, it, Jean can easily be killed now. It's not like, like, we've seen so many people die already, so. By the window. You know how they always, like, you see their eyes by the window, looking like creeps. Oh, there's gear. But I think it was his harness or something, right? Flaming water and frozen earth. I still want to see, like, if they ever get to the place where the Titans actually sort of spawn in, if you know what I mean. Like, where are they traveling from? Oh, he's up. Let's go, Eren. Oh, wow. He's back. Ah, wow. Very intense, very interesting episode. Just had me thinking how, you know, I mean, first of all, like I said, Armin has just become a boss, you know. I'm trying to think the exact moment where we saw him. And it, it might have been when he actually gave the, the speech, right? Okay, now I actually do remember. It's when he realized that he is useful, you know, when he always thought that he was like just someone who was holding Eren and Mikasa back when actually he was they said they couldn't have done it, everything without him especially when you realize that the only reason they are alive is because he called Hannes in the beginning so once that clicked he was able to give that speech to to everyone and almost save Eren's life you know that's when Dot picks his sword but I'm, what I'm saying is that from there we've just seen him his whole mentality switch even having the because look at the comparison between when he was just sitting there when he thought Eren first died and he was just sitting 
sitting there and Mikasa came to speak to him. That compared to now where he's just, he went on, off on his own, you know, on the back of Eren's neck, essentially making sure it gets done, you know, telling Mikasa, you need to protect us. This all just shows his growth and it's in, it's going to be interesting to see where his whole journey takes him. But so now we actually see it's that Eren sort of goes into this like daydream where he kind of has to go into a realization of what he's actually doing because he was like oh i'm just sitting here at home so it's also going to be interesting to see how he's able to overcome that or if that essentially becomes a problem in the future we'll have to see that but you know you see with the elite squad being able to make the correct decisions to be like look it doesn't matter that this didn't work right now but this is too much of a powerful weapon for us to just leave it now like keep protecting Jaeger we can still utilize him which is like if you look at if you compare that to sort of Commander Welm and how he just panicked you know he probably would have pulled everybody out and say run to like the next wall or something just give the titans the space also them realizing that 20% of the soldiers have been killed like Dot Pixar said, it's pointless to pull everybody back now. There has to be a reason for why they died. So we have to fight this till the end, even if we die. It doesn't matter. We we have to take the full measure. Like half measures will get everybody killed. So that's that's pretty much it. Um, very interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens with the next episode. That's Thursday's episode. But anyways, that's going to be it for me. If you like Attack on Titan, smash that like button. Consider subscribing to my anime reaction videos with the notification bell on. I'm releasing episodes every day of the week. Thanks for watching. If you're watching, that's going to be it for me. I'm out. Peace. In a bit.